hello, hello everyone. My name is Vlad, I run TGR, a product studio, and we advise so many companies. We've probably helped somewhere between 70 to 90 companies build new tech, integrate tech, any hot tech, AI, Web3, AR, you name it. You know, we've done a lot of stuff, so probably we know something about it. So in this video, because I was talking to some of my friends on LinkedIn, I really realized I should probably record a video and talk about integrating AI into your business and understanding how to approach it doing the right way. And here's a bit of my framework. I'll try to keep it very specific to the point and hopefully that will be helpful because anywhere you go now everyone's like AI AI and you get this effect of you know proper FOMO effect and not understanding how to integrate AI you know what are the things you should do first and I think the right question and the probably the most important question is even should you do it actually do you need AI in your business and probably the answer is yes I understand but still I think that's the right question to ask yourself first so in this framework, let's call it the Vlad AI framework, let's talk about business processes. I'm going to refer mostly to existing business processes. So not creative stuff or you know any processes that, that don't exist yet. So let's pretend you are a business manager, right? The first thing I would do is actually map out all of the processes you are responsible for on a daily basis. Literally all of the things that you happen to do, take a piece of paper, or I don't know, a Word document, Notion, wherever you wanna map out all of those processes start you know create that list and that's going to be super helpful because you'll start actually understanding on paper what are the things you're actually doing so once you have all of those processes you know sort of written out then the next step I would do is actually go and prioritize them so starting from you know the lowest priority to highest priority you will now understand okay you know this thing I'm doing on a daily basis yeah you know I'm, I'm in charge of it but actually this is not as high of a priority so now at least we have a good understanding of the processes are the most important first right that's the second thing you should do the third thing that I would now really focus on is try to identify and understand which of those processes could be automated and do not depend too much on external, you know, people essentially, any stakeholders that could sort of affect this specific process getting done. The reason why that's so, so important is because, you know, many companies come to us and say, okay, cool, we want to integrate AI. And then once you understand their processes better, you map out all of these diagrams, user flows and all of that, you suddenly realize that guys like, you know, there's David who's in charge of this and he needs to make calls every single day. And that happens at 3 p.m. and at 4 p.m. So on our side, we're like, okay, how do we automate even that? So this is why it's so, so important, you know, having the full list, cool. Having the priorities, cool. And then understanding what could be automated. Now, in this video, I think, because I want to keep it short and to the point, let's just focus on the tasks that could be automated. So let's pretend you had 20 processes in your entire list. And apparently, you now find out that only nine of the processes could be actually theoretically automated, right? So now, okay, let's forget about the other hypothetical 11 processes that we're not gonna automate at this point. I'm probably going to do another separate video on that. But for those processes that you can automate, I would actually start mapping out them now properly. You know, adding every single bit of detail that you could actually think of. And, you know, take an existing process and actually go from A to B. What happens first, even if it's something silly, like, you know, writing an email and then waiting for the reply and then sending a Slack message to Susie and then sending a message to the other person. Like literally every single step that happens within that process, that's super important. So that then when you start integrating AI or try understanding where AI could be used in that process, you would have a full picture and understanding of that entire process. So that I believe and I know that's a good task to actually do in general if you want to integrate AI and to be any any tech at all cool once we've done that now because we have all of the details it's a good time to put a cost on each of those processes so now we have those hypothetical um, nine processes and we have mapped out all of those processes in you know very detailed way and now try to put a cost on it and here's what I would do I would literally try and add every single cost that is somehow directly or indirectly related to that specific process or part of it. So if it's your time, let's say you once again are a business manager, CEO, COO, you know, whatever the job is, or you do everything, I don't know. <laughs> Try to estimate and say, look, okay, on average, and I know that's sometimes hard, but on average, I'm spending, I don't know, like an hour for this to run this process daily or weekly. And let's just pretend your hour costs, I don't know, $50 an hour, $100 an hour, whatever it costs. So now within that process, 
you know cool my bet of running this process is actually fifty dollars because it takes me one hour because then there's david he spends 20 minutes so that's another let's let's pretend fifteen dollars and also sarah is also involved you know in this process so she spends half an hour so that's another 25 dollars there so as we add up my labor 50 bucks david 15 and sarah 25 we get basically 80 dollars there what i would also try and do is apart from those 80 dollars of labor in total sometimes you could be using an app that charges you per use let's just pretend once again you're using some app and for that process specifically it costs you another i don't know five dollars extra for whatever you're using as an app even though that's pretty expensive if you're using some kind of an app there right, let's say okay Cool, $85. Now we have a very specific estimate for this specific process, $85. Now, obviously your industry, all processes are very different, but if you don't put a number on your process, that's going to be really, really hard when it comes to AI integration. So really, really try and map it out, you know, as detailed as you can and put a cost in it. Let's pretend now we have the costs for all of those nine processes that could be theoretically automated. And yeah, now we understand all of the costs and you know how much it is. Now, what we're gonna do, we're going to look at the whole costs column, let's call it that, and the whole priority bit, right? So now we can actually look and understand this is high priority, but potentially low cost, or this is low priority and then high cost right? So here, it pretty much depends on now, what do you want to tackle first? Do you want to go the priority way and say, look, these are high priority. I want to automate the all of the high priority ones and then get to the low priority ones. Or do you want to go on the cost side and say, look, actually, I don't even know that this process costs me 300 bucks per day per week. So I want to tackle that first up to you to decide. Normally people do both. We, you know, when we look at uh, processes, we kind of like try to find the higher priority ones with the highest costs involved. So I would do that if I were you, but you can choose your own approach to it here. But let's pretend cool. We've now sort of done another, let's call it column or list where we've said, okay, look, these are the high priority ones or sort of these are the problems that the, the processes that we want to tackle first. So now we have a, basically a full understanding of the process that we want to automate. The next thing that we're going to do is theoretically, we're going to take the top three processes that we now understand they're well worth automating. And now we're going to understand here's how we can use AI plus, you know, any traditional tech to automate this process. First of all, proof of concept. Let's do a mini, mini proof of concept. Proof of concept is essentially some, you know, very, very simple solution to the problem to ensure that the solution could actually work. So before, let's say you do it internally you, yourself or like hire someone external Externally, you should understand whether that process actually can be automated. And this is why you need a proof of concept. Let's just pretend for the sake of, you know, simplifying this video in all three processes, the automated process is doable and it can work perfectly well. The only thing you should remember when kind of like trying to figure out those automated processes, what's the cost of running those automated processes, right? If you're using something like ChatGPT, if you're using any AI tools out there, you need to ensure that the costs of the automated process are not higher than the costs of the process process, you know, as they are essentially now, right? Because let's pretend there's a process that costs you $10 to run it. And then with AI and other tools involved, it costs you 15 or $20, you know, up to you to decide whether that's worth it. Seems like at least not at the beginning, I would try to identify other use cases that are worth automating first. But let's pretend once again, now you've understood how much each automated process would cost. And let's say, you know, the current way of running this process is $300 per day, you know, the automated one is 50 dollars per day cool that's a saving straight away 250 there perfect now we're definitely uh, off to the next step and start building and then integrating a ai for this specific process though one last thing i would love to mention here is what are the risks involved in automating this process cool we know the financials they work out well we know the priority yep we need to automate this task but what is the are there any risks uh, involved in automating this process because if the answer is there's no or low risks go ahead you're gonna start saving money straight away if you are are in a heavily you know compliant industry high regulations or anything else you need to think about it whether you want to you will have any risks with automating that process in most cases actually there shouldn't be any risks you know if it's approached properly you can go straight away to automating that specific process but you need to still think at least about it to make sure that you're covered from all sides because i've seen this example um i think that was an airline company they've uh, integrated ai chatbot onto their website and then ai chatbot started giving some like random fares for the tickets so some 
some people manage to get like tickets for $20, which are supposed to be $300, simply because the bot was just behaving in a very random way. It was just misbehaving and giving out these super low prices. And then the court said that no, because the chatbot is a representative of the company, still, you the company had to give out those $20 tickets. So those are the things that you need to think about if I were you. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So you try to work through all of them one by one, you know, you've got the list, you've got the priorities, you map out all of the processes, you understand which ones can you automate and which ones you can't. And then that's going to be, as I said, probably a separate video. Put a cost for each existing process, put a cost for each future automated process. Try to come up with a POC, proof of concept, to make sure that you can actually successfully automate this specific process and build something meaningful and valuable for the company. And then also, or before, prior to even beginning, potentially, think about risks as well to make sure that, okay, even with the new tech, there's no risks involved or low risks. And even if there are risks, think about how you're going to mitigate them. And that's it. Pretty much, you just work through all of those cases, automate everything one by one, and then keep improving, keep finding new processes that you could automate in your company. And that's, I think, it. I hope this framework is helpful because I hope it gives you more of a, you know, holistic approach to integrating AI. And also if, you know, after watching this video, you understand that you don't have any processes you can automate or the risks are too, too high or something else, then maybe it's not the right time or you don't have the processes for sort of AI integration, which is highly unlikely, I think, because you can always automate something simple as, you know, writing emails or something. But still, I think the worst thing when it comes to AI is thinking that, okay, now we're going to integrate AI everywhere now a company and everything is going to work way, way better we're going to grow our revenue when in fact it's no different to any tech or anything you do you know take it slow and steady but and just in general good luck with integrating ai building anything cool and meaningful subscribe follow repost share with friends and honestly thank you for watching this video i hope that was very very helpful and i'll make sure i keep recording uh more of these and if possible in the comments also let me know your questions let me know any of the topics you want me to cover maybe you need some help and I'll make sure I'll come up with some cool content around that. Thanks a lot.